and they want to find the determinant of the matrix A. So to find the determinant of the matrix A, to find the determinant of the matrix A, we're going to be using, um, let's use, I like to use something with a zero, so I'm using column one, using column one. Using column one, using column one, then the determinant of A will be two times the determinant of, if I cross out this here, it will be 4306, so I'll have 4360 zero minus zero plus minus one plus minus one times the determinant of, if I were to cross this out, it would be one minus one, four, three. One minus one, four, and three. That's the determinant of A. And so the determinant of A is working out to be, that's equal to two times now four times six is four times six is twenty-four minus three times six and that's four times six is twenty-four. Twenty-four minus eighteen is six, two times six, which is twelve, minus one times. Now this is going to be one times three minus four times minus one. That's seven. All right, good. So this word, so to be the determinant of A is two times six minus one times seven, that's five. The determinant of the matrix A is five. Just wanna check that again, four times. Oh shoot, this was zero. I've been writing so bad that I confused myself. This was, let's go again, 4360. Oh my God, I was confusing myself. So look what I made an error. Let me write this better. This is zero. So this is not six. Four times zero is zero. And so that's going to be zero minus 18. This is minus 18. So this is now cross cross three minus, that's going to be AD of three minus four times minus one is seven. This is minus seven. So now I can work this out. So my mistake, my apologies. Two times minus 18 minus one times seven, that's minus 43. Just wanna check it one last time. Cross out this and this, that would be four, three, six, zero times two, that's minus 18 times two is minus 36, good. Then I have plus minus one times, if I cross out that, and that would be one minus one, four, three, which is three, minus minus four, which is seven, that's minus seven, minus 36, minus seven is minus 43. Excellent. All right, so I get minus 43, that's good. So finish this now, nice. It's a hence or otherwise, find A inverse. All right, so first and foremost, since we're gonna find A inverse, um, we just need to know that, I'm just gonna write it down around here, that A inverse is equal to one over the determinant, so it's one over minus 43 times the adjoint of A. times adjoint of A, 
All right. And in order to find the adjoint of A, we need to find the cofactor matrix and transpose it. So let's find the cofactor matrix. So let's find the cofactor of A. So the cofactor of A is going to be equal to, we're going to find the cofactor matrix. Determinant here, minus the determinant here, plus the determinant here, minus the determinant here, plus the determinant here, minus the determinant here, determinant here, minus the determinant here, plus the determinant right here. Let's go ahead and find the cofactor. So first of all, it's going to be cross here, 4360. So put in here, 4360. Go again around here. We cross out the one, cross out here, that's gonna be zero, three minus one, zero. So we have zero, three minus one, is zero. And we go around here, okay, we're gonna have, cross out here and here, we get zero, four minus one, six. Zero, four minus one, six, zero, four, minus one and six. All right, we go around here. We're gonna have cross out this zero and we have one minus one, six, zero. We're gonna have one minus one, six, zero. Then we're gonna have cross here, cross here, two minus one, minus one, zero, two minus one, minus one, zero, two minus one, minus one, zero. Then we're gonna cross here, cross here. We're gonna have two, one, minus one, six, Two, one, minus one, six. We go here, now I would cross here, cross here, one minus one, four, three. One minus one, four, three. Now go around here now. It's gonna be cross here. Cross here, that's two minus one, zero, three. Two minus one, zero, and three. And finally, we cross here and cross here. So it's two, one, zero, four. Two, one, zero, four. So now we can evaluate the four factor matrix. And so the cofactor matrix is going to be equal to four zero. That's zero minus AT. So that's negative AT. Then we get zero minus minus three is plus three. This works out to be minus three. Then we have zero minus minus four is plus four. Then we have zero minus minus six. That's now minus six. Two times zero is zero, minus one. Zero minus one is minus one. And then we have two times six is 12. 12 minus minus one is 13, so that's minus 13. And then here we have three minus minus four. Three minus minus four is positive seven. 
Then we have six minus zero, that's now minus six. Then we have eight minus zero, that's positive eight. So that's the cofactor of A. If this is a cofactor of A, then A inverse is going to be equal to one over the determinant, which is one over minus 43 times the adjoint. And the adjoint is a cofactor transpose. So that's minus 18, minus 18, minus six, minus seven, well, positive seven, minus 18, minus six, positive seven, minus three, minus one, minus six, then we have four, then we have minus 13, minus 13, then we have positive eight. Nice and easy, and that's A inverse. Nice and easy. That's A inverse, soft.